Extreme euphoric highs followed by devastatingly intense lows. Those are some of the hallmarks of trading in crypto and also as it happens of addiction. Does your crypto portfolio stress you out? So does mine. So today I got my hands on nothing. I <laughs> got you. So this week, we're not looking at anything in particular, but we're looking at this general idea of the stress of trading crypto and some of the products that are out there that claim to help relieve some of this stress. We all know that feeling where you're constantly checking your phone to see if your assets, if your portfolio has gone up or down. It doesn't matter if you're sleeping, you're playing night crawlers with your kid, asking your boss for a raise. You have to check if you're halfway to the moon or halfway down to the street corner. And it sounds funny, but there's a dark side to this too. According to recent studies, if we take gambling as a baseline, at least 1% of people will become severely addicted to trading crypto and 10% will develop a psychological condition because of it. And that's 5 million people in the US alone. But unlike gambling, you can't take your chips with you and leave the table. The crypto market is always moving. And that's where FOMO or the fear of missing out comes in. And if you don't want to experience FOMO, you should definitely like and subscribe to this channel. We come up with cool content like this every week. So hit that bell and we'll notify you the next time something's out. But what is FOMO? I mean, FOMO as a term has been around for nearly 20 years. And the meaning of it has developed over time, but it's taken on a whole other monetary meaning now that Bitcoin's around. See, the thing is, if you didn't get Bitcoin at a dollar, you missed out. If you didn't get it at $10, you missed out. And you kept missing out. In fact, you're probably already late. The only thing that is going to save you is that there are people that are later than you. And it's this constant idea that you're missing out and the fear that that brings. Should you be getting it today? Should you wait for a little bit more for it to gain traction? All these new altcoins, NFTs, crypto kitties, you want a golden shower of cummies, but you don't know. Should I subject myself to that first or should I wait for my neighbor to do it to himself? And I don't have an answer. So don't take this as medical, legal, financial, or crypto advice. I mean, don't take this as advice at all. We've all heard stories about your friend's uncle's friend who bought Bitcoin back when it was a dollar and is now driving a Lambo through Uranus with Let's the Prince it. of Bel-Air. But let's get real. We're all tiny, tiny fish in a vast and unforgiving ocean. Even though crypto isn't really a get rich quick scheme, there is this certain element where you're trying to get people in after you, you're, you get in early and then you invite all your friends, you tell them excitedly about it. The more people that get in, the higher the price of that coin goes. And although there might be no evil intent behind it, when people like Elon Musk, influential people with power, they get up there and they say their comments on Twitter, they get on the news. You know, when Elon Musk got on SNL, made his little Dogecoin comments and all of a sudden the market crashed by 30%, we're all left in the wake of what he's doing. And because we don't know what Elon Musk is gonna say next, we're constantly having to check our phones, you know? You have to follow these people on Twitter, you have to check the news constantly to make sure that you're ahead of the curve and you can react to these things before anybody else does. But I don't wanna constantly check my phone. I wanna unload this to some other device that can just give me a notification when I need to be aware that something bad or something good is happening. And this week we've found two products that claim to relieve some of the stress that we've just been talking about. Coin ticker and the ticker meter. They claim to do this in three ways. They make sure you don't miss out on the next trend via notifications and alarms. They save you time by always being in sight. And finally, they help you crypto flex because you know you want to show everyone around the office that you know what you're doing. And so what they've both done is they've taken this concept of the stock ticker from Wall Street and shrunk it down into something that, you know, fits in your palm, on your desk, on your fridge, in your car, wherever you want it, because they're both like tiny, magnetic, stackable, and wireless. So my phone has a bazillion notifications and every time it buzzes, how am I meant to know if that's my mom, if that's Elon Musk, if that's my Bitcoin dropping? And now I constantly have to check it to see what it is. And every time I do, I'm distracted by all the other notifications from my health app, my Gmail, my Slack. I don't want to look at those things. I want this one function device on my table like a wall clock or a watch. My phone also tells the time, but if I'm wearing a watch, I don't need to constantly take it out of my pocket to see what the time is. Then again, the application on your phone lets you track tons of cryptocurrencies at the same time. Whereas these, they only really let you look at one at a time. But the creators have figured out a cool solution to that by making them magnetic and stackable. So you can tick, 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 track, you know, three, five, 10, however many cryptocurrencies you'd like. 
as long as you have the money to buy all of those little tickers. So how much are they gonna set you back? Well, the ticker meter costs around $90 and the coin ticker, you can get it for as little as 70. Where can you get them? Coin ticker is available now on Kickstarter and ticker meter just finished its live campaign and it's gone into in demand on Indiegogo. And kind of like all crowdfunding projects, they're a little bit over designed in strange ways. For example, coin ticker is IP67 waterproof. And why you'd need this, I'm not really sure. Like how often are you swimming amongst the fishes of the Great Barrier Reef thinking, ooh, I gotta check my Bitcoin prices right now. And of course that wouldn't work without the battery, which they've also built in. And I guess there is some edge case where you're lounging in the pool, sipping on your margarita, connected to your home Wi-Fi, and you wanna just have coin ticker floating beside you in the water showing you Bitcoin's price. But really, the place where you wanna be using this is on your desk, where you can plug it in all the time. And this brings us to the final question of whether this is something you really need. And I guess probably not. It doesn't trade for you, it doesn't hold your crypto, and the notifications are pretty limited. But then again, if trading or holding crypto stresses you out, this is something you could look into. Or maybe you should just stop trading or get a girlfriend or dump your boyfriend or go see a psychologist. Cause remember, I'm no medical professional. Coin ticker or ticker meter could help if having your assets constantly in front of you all day where you can watch them rise hundreds and thousands of dollars, but also plummet to zero will help you out more than freak you out. But I guess at the end of the day, that's not really what it's about. It's more just having it on your desk doing a little crypto flex and showing every other boring person in the office that you know what you're doing. So that was our take on cryptocurrencies and the stress they do or do not bring. As always, let me know what you thought in the comments below. We come up with fresh content like this every week. So if you wanna make sure you don't miss the next video, be sure to you know subscribe, hit that bell, like, whatever, all of those things going on down there, please do it. And until next time, I'm Dan and this was Tech I Want.